Hey guys, it's your boy if you're back with more more future wide content and this time we are taking Echo into the PvP department. So, uh, but for the PvE, definitely it was not a good experience for me to test this girl because she has no potential as far as I can see at the moment, at least in PvE. But because the whole PvE, uh, whole kit actually delivers to the PvP department and it looks like more of a PvP lean, I will be going and testing her in Tamlin Battle autoplay. For the most part, there was one battle I think I did manual just to take on Adam because I wanted to see how she does against Adam. And I'll basically take him, take her with this team up. We still are running the guard break immunity, 4 seconds invincibility obelisk on this girl. So it's a very basic build. The cards and everything are very good, but let's just take a look at what she can do. So I'm going to try to find some, I think I did not fought, uh, I did not fight. Uh, silver surfer i believe uh, just because i don't think she can actually stand against silver surfer also surfer i'm not sure like some people a lot of people have it a lot of people don't but i'm just trying to see how she does against these characters so we are first of all gene gray um, uh, i'm gonna put the autoplay on and let's see what she can do so she survives at least for <laughs> just survives and whoa, one shots well gene gray uh gene is gonna come back and she is going to kill Jean once again. So she kills Jean. That's something. As you can see, she could dodge as well if we had a better artifact. Definitely Hulk has a better advantage because being a combat character and she being a speed character. But she kills Jean and that's I think the most important thing. So she can counter Jean. Now, I'm just gonna, just for fun, just to try against Spidey. Now, this is not exactly a good matchup because uh, the enemy team doesn't have a debuff. It just... Somebody's running man thing leadership Spidey and Gwen uh, and I don't know why and they are they are in the top rankings <laughs> of this league whatever the league it was so yeah it kills that uh, Spidey comes as a tier three Spidey so I'm not expecting a lot and obviously I'm not sure about what kind of build that he has I think I forgot to check his CTP okay that's a uh, proc obelisk so obelisk versus obelisk we should be able to win we win we one shot spidey and i think we should be able to easily kill man thing uh man thing did nothing so yeah we won so yeah she is decent at least uh, from what i can see at the moment let's just try to find out some more guys gene adam wolverine gene this one uh we have a tier 3 adam here okay this is interesting we have gore uh, black swan as well as jean now i'm not sure if she will make it to black swan but we have gore in the uh, in the starting so let's see how how it does so let's see so the gore is not a really good build as you can see he can't even one shot this girl right here i'm gonna switch to maya uh, and bad timing because he was going to do the uh, the second skill which is the which is the best skill that he can do and he kills her so yeah my bad uh, it was a really horrible timing because he caught us off guard with the second skill and did like 50% of HP damage already everybody here has that we have a tier 3 gene we have a tier 3 wolverine and tier 3 spidey this is going to be interesting to see uh, how she does against the tier 3 gene because we saw her killing a tier 4 gene so we'll just see so I'm gonna switch uh, just letting Maya Lopez get uh, the whole thing, you know, the cooldown and everything. She's coming down right here. This is bad because she's taking damage, but she is, is able to uh, almost, almost that. So yeah, it depends also. Jean can also kill Maya Lopez. But the good thing is that uh, level 70 with the obelisk can stand up to against Jean. Like a lot of characters can stand up to Jean these days because she basically has only second skill that we need to watch out. Other skills you can bypass using iframes, using invincibility and ignore iframe skills, I suppose. And you can easily kill her. So I guess that's the new trend these days. But anyways, moving on to the other characters. Let's just see what we have. We have a gore uh, Spidey as well as shuri so okay that's gonna be interesting because shuri has that uh, passive although the passive is useless against uh, echo because echo is a hero character and shuri is against villain character so that's not gonna make a difference i'm just gonna she died by deflect or she my my <laughs> uh my chav is actually killed her one shot at her so let's see he comes right here and gore is one shotted by this girl and he's gonna go against the iframe the bad thing is that she doesn't have a iframe ignore skill 
and that's where the disadvantage comes in like you can see she has the damage she can one shot these characters but she's lacking that ignore iframe skills uh, she's still standing against Spidey quite well, so she can kill Spidey, she can kill Jean, she can kill Gore, but I think that's gonna be a bit situational depending on what skill you catch Gore on at that time, because not having an iframe ignore skill and only having a handful skill to actually use properly, like the 5 and 4 are the main, 4 sadly is not an iframe after the first jump, so that's gonna put you in a disadvantage. The 5th skill is the main, and then she basically goes 5, 4, 2, and then 3. So that's a good thing because she started with the five. Sadly, the five is not iframe ignore, so that's not gonna help much. But we will see what we can do. I'm gonna switch back to Maya right here. I think I did, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna switch back here. Let's see what we can do. So she goes, she cannot kill Gore, not at the moment. Um, There she goes with the skill. Okay, she kills Gore, she kills Gore. Okay, God is gonna come again. So she's gonna start up with the fifth skill. She's gonna go into second skill and he is going to almost kill her. Come on, can you do it? Can you do it? She goes into a transcend skill, so kills Gore. Then Jean comes around. She kills. Ki <laughs> she gets killed. Okay, okay. So she fought. She fought uh, till the end. And that was nice. It was a nice match, actually. I don't like enjoy a lot of these autoplay matches because Stamlin Battle, we have been playing this since Stamlin Battle was introduced in the exact same way. But it's always fascinating to see some of those auto matchups go crazy when they go long, you know. Uh, I remember the sentry situation. I remember the destroyer situation. I remember some of the other situations with the same characters or different characters going literally all out, countering every single... And they literally the RNG is working in their both of their favors. Now... This team up, I want to try what we can do against Adam Warlock. I want to see against Adam because she's a speed cat uh, character, level 70. Can she go against a tier 3 or tier 4 Adam Warlock? That's my question. So we start with the fifth skill. She's gonna die. She's gonna die. She's gonna die. She's gonna die. She doesn't die. She, she can't. <laughs> okay, nice. She's gonna die. She's gonna die and she's she's dead. So, okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I guess, is I'm gonna manually kill this gore, okay? Maybe in this team up. And because I want to see the auto matchup against Adam Warlock. So what I'm gonna do that I'm probably gonna fight this guy once again. And what we will do is we will go through the matchup again and the same matchup same team up and i'm gonna put her against adam warlock to see how she does because i want to see that you know so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna switch uh here to just to save maya i'm gonna go five cancel four to kill this guy now i will take damage now uh, i will definitely be taking damage from that uh, second skill but we can't do anything about it uh that that's about it and we will go into the third into four we kill warlock comes we one shot warlock with the second skill okay can can he kill can can she kill warlock again is she <laughs> nice nice so she can kill tier 4 adam warlock being a level 70 with a obelisk so she has the damage survivability might be an issue i suppose you could say that but that was good that was not bad at all and I suppose you like you could try other Adam Warlock team ups if you really wanted to, but I guess that kind of answers the question that I was having and the uh, like what I was actually speculating about. We'll go against that uh, this Adam Warlock. I'm not sure if he'll be she will be able to beat it. Obviously, the uh, like the team ups, the builds, and everything that does uh, we have to consider all of that when talking about uh, countering or ca uh, characters. With that, so. That's how it is. Anyways, let's just, uh, like, this is bad because she's reflecting a lot of damage. Adam is gonna come and probably gonna kill her. Yeah, she goes into four skill. Look, that was a bad matchup. We lost like 40%, 50% of HP already. So, anyways, that that's how it is. But she can kill Adam Warlock. It's not 100% guaranteed, but it's level 70. So, we can consider uh, level 80 le uh, tier 4. She will be quiet and she will be much better with the stats and everything. This is still with the 
double supports in tandem battle it's still with the obelisk and everything so maybe if you can give like like a mighty egg that would really help her out because she has that long eye frame with the fifth skill maybe authority maybe this one i'm not sure about conquest because i don't have it so i don't have any experience talking about it maybe commander or some other youtubers uh, might be able to uh you know uh, decipher it much better compared to mine also we have a six star artifact do let me know if, uh, if i should try the six star artifact and then try the pvp but with the build she has she performed quite well for the build so yeah i will not say she's a total waste now uh, pvp guys definitely she looks like a really good character to invest in and i can change also this option to hp and give her a proper build and she might just perform even better obviously he will she will be performing better at level 80 and tier 4 so good investment for pvp not for pve definitely strict pvp character do let me know what you think of the video do let me know what you think, think about the pvp value of this character and do you like echo now give me the details in the comment section so give this video a like, subscribe to the channel already if you have not done that. And as always, if you do enjoy the content, I hope to see you again. Take care. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.